What I've been doing is uh, two two different historic photo processes. Um, they're both really old. They're, they they kind of date to the very original photo processes, um, um, and they that they're very different. Um, they have you know one is a on a piece of paper, and the other is on a black um, or is on a white piece of paper, and the other is a black plate. Um, so they kind of they can kind of do different things, and um, they're also, you know, they're, uh, you know, the the wet plate requires an, an incredible amount of light. Um, it's, if you're familiar with, um, like, film speed, the uh, wet plate is like a ISO 0.5 or 1 or something, so it's very, you need a lot of light to make them, um, and they require a dark room. Um, you can't really process them without um, a lab or some sort of weird setup that you can take with you. Um, I have a little box that I can, um, I can put mine in and, um, and you could take it out somewhere and do it. But um, let me see if I could, there we go. So this is, uh, this is a wet plate image here. It's a, uh, you know, wet plate is, has mainly been used for portraiture, and like it dates to the when photography was kind of a portrait, um, you know, medium. Um, it, it made you know you got away from painting because of the quality that you could get from um, from a uh, photograph. So, um, yeah, the plates were initially um, initially you know used for portraiture. Um, but I'm kind of interested in doing things that are not portraiture, um, that are still life-based, um, and uh, you know, taking the medium into a kind of a different place. Because most people that do it do it in do portraiture. So um, yeah, so I'm just going to keep going. Um, this is a this is the platinum process. So there's these two processes that I'm working in. I'm kind of split between both of them right now. Um, and this is a negative process, so it's a contact print. So this image is four by five inches, um, and uh, you know they're they're very different. And so when I'm like kind of stuck between the two of them, I'm kind of like, what can this medium bear? What can the other medium bear? And is there there's something that I should be doing in one medium and not the and not the other? Um, so all of those questions. Um, this is really hard to see, but part of the other thing that I'm kind of working on is like these subtle things. Um, and it's kind of, it's tricky to take photographs of very subtle things because do they, can they sustain your interest, you know? And so that's a question. Um, these are some grasses that, you know, they're not, they're not, uh, you know, it didn't quite work. And that's the other thing about this is there's a lot of failures. So you gotta be like really ready to fail a lot if you wanna do this process or either one of these processes because you're just, you, you make your own emulsion. So these are early photographs of this process. Um, let's see, I'm just jumping along. So most of these are also created in the studio. Um, they're, they're done with uh, strobe lighting. They're, um, you know, they're made with a, a view camera. You view it, you use a, you know, you compose the picture on a sheet of ground glass. It's the back of the camera. The lens projects onto the ground glass. Um, you know, I'm kind of inspired by old masters, like, you know, like Rembrandt or something, and the lighting quality. And it's partly, you know, the subtlety of, of lighting in these processes. And, um, you know, it's kind of, uh, um, you know, it's something that I... Um, it's part of the inspiration of it. Um, and partly, too, due to the fact that, you know, some of the original images were made, um, you know, by, like, um, Nadar or something who was, like, making images kind of in the style of, like, an old master. So kind of originally brought me in. Um, yeah, trying to capture subtlety um, with these images and um, with subtle light. Um, the uh, wet plate is a direct positive, so you put the plate in the camera, um, and uh, it's a uh, you know it's kind of a 
it's uh, you it's um, there's no negative so the uh, the, the picture comes out from on the plate um, can't really see this but that's this is where I make the wet plates in this little box um, in my apartment um, <laughs> It's hard to see, but um, this is what the camera looks like. This is in my bathroom. Um, I cleaned it before I took the picture. Um, uh, yeah, the Platinums are contact prints. They're on paper. Um, there's not a lot of time making emulsion. You make the emulsion. That's why you fail a lot. Um, that's before you put the emulsion on. This is after. Um, you know, the tonal, you know, characteristics of each one or like the question of why, what to do, what subject will will make the best, um, will will utilize the process the best. Um, yeah, failures, <laughs> just again. Um, I want to make still lives and I want to show like the really fine details of things. I want you to see things that you maybe haven't looked at in that same way before. Um, there's also, I found this book the other day where I brought it off my shelf and I was like, oh, this kind of inspired me. So it's a book of like Hawaiian flowers that was printed in 1944. And I realized today that it was like, yeah, it was still in the World War I or two. I mean, and uh, so one of the things that I'm thinking about doing is digitally, digitally coloring these photographs and making large prints. So... These, th this book, this Hawaiian photo book or whatever, has this really strange color, and because they're hand colored um, images, and I think that this this process, you know, hand coloring it in the end could be kind of an interesting way to take it, um, and it could add kind of another layer. Um, you've got a historic process, but then you start hand coloring on top of it. So um, that's kind of like probably the next step that I'm going to take this. Um, that's it. It's the end of the slide. Yeah. Thank you.